Hello, hello, and welcome to She TV, the place women come to become powerfully feminine from the inside out. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to apply masculine and feminine consciousness in your work. So if you haven't seen my previous video on really what are the essential differences between masculine and feminine consciousness, then click above. I'll also put a link below. Whilst we're here, if you haven't subscribed, I inspire you to subscribe over here and click on that little bell. It will send you notifications when I upload new videos. So I get this question a lot from my subscribers who are professional women. They're either entrepreneurs or they work for big corporations, etc. And they go, well, how on earth do I be feminine in the corporate world or in the business world? And I hear you, sister. I hear you. This has been my own uh, path, really, right? Having uh, been corporate for the first 12 years of my career and then running my own companies for the last 25 odd years. And of course, what happened for me at first is I took all the corporate thing which as we now know in my work is called being stuck in man mode, right? Being in the masculine predominantly. And then I ended up applying it to my entrepreneurial pursuits. So I kind of see this work arena as the same thing, one and the same, whether you're corporate or whether you're running your own business. It's more about how do you bring your feminine self, your feminine essence and consciousness forward in what's undoubtedly a masculine dominated arena. So one of the first things that I learned was the difference between what I was really trained in, which was doing it all on my own, okay, the lone wolf kind of scenario, versus collaboration. Now I'm not saying that lone wolfing it is in and of itself masculine, but when you're believing that you have to do all the doing yourself, tick off the to-do to -do list yourself, that it's all on your shoulders, you are more in that masculine orientation. So what of this concept of asking for help, of seeking collaborative environments in which you bring yourself, your project, your ideas? That would be more the feminine. The feminine has a lot to do with collaboration, community, um, you know, multiple input, not believing or seeing that everything is up to you. Now, another essential difference is this difference between being in the, the creative orientation the feminine versus the producing results orientation, the masculine. Now clearly we perceive the producing results, the expectation of the results is something that is really on us, even as women when we're working, right? And yet I'm just illustrating these differences so that you can feel these different flows of consciousness inside you when you're in a work environment and that the feminine is more that creative situation and the masculine is the producing results. So in my very first career, corporate career, I was a commercial interior designer. What that meant is I interior designed commercial corporate offices, trading floors, hotels, retail spaces, etc. I didn't do homes, right? So I was a commercial designer with a focus on commercial office design and trading floors. And you'd think ostensibly that an interior design career was more feminine, right? Okay, you're designing stuff and pretty colors and nah, nah. well, the truth is a professional design career ends up being a lot more about project management, producing results, managing clients, managing budgets, managing subcontractors and um, et cetera, et cetera. See, so what ended up happening and I realized that my career ended up being, I don't know, 5% creativity, 95% producing results. And I started to slowly wane my interest in my career because I was not really doing the stuff that I wanted to be doing. I didn't, I wanted to be more creative. And what ended up happening, believe it or not, is the creative functions end up going to junior designers and the senior designers end up doing the client management, the project management. Just an example. So in my first video above, you can check it out on the essential differences between masculine and feminine consciousness. I spoke a bit about this core difference between masculine as the arrow consciousness and feminine as the cup. And you might be going, well, how on earth do I apply this concept of being and letting go and opening and being in my feminine in an environment that demands me to be sales oriented, goal oriented, project oriented, directional? That's a really good question. But 
nobody can bring that into your life but you. You are going to have to choose to create space for your feminine in your work environment. You cannot wait for the corporate environment or your own inner beliefs about how you're supposed to behave as an entrepreneur to be the determiners for you to decide to bring the feminine into your environment. Let me give you some examples. I would say to my clients who are corporate, how about we start with taking two 15 minute breaks a day outside of your lunch break. Just go out, sit on a chair in nature, grab some tea and just take in the space, take in nature or go out, go for a little bit of a walk for 15 minutes, not on the phone, not thinking about what you have to do, just take some what I call out breath. Okay? It's going to change your environment. I have a um, long term client who is a very big corporate diva and as she started to bring her feminine into her big sales environment, she was shocked at how the men around her started to respond to her differently and favorably. They started to help her. They started to support her. They weren't competing with her anymore. Competition would be more the masculine orientation. They started to completely um, uphold her, support her as a woman, support her as a professional, respect her more because she was standing in her feminine self her feminine essence because that's who she is. So she was just being authentic, okay? Now, if you know my story at all, if you continue on the pathway of the do, 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 go, 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 act, 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 you are heading on a pathway to burning out. I know because this is what happened to me and I see it happen so many times with women. So I encourage you to think about, to muse about, what could I do to bring more of my feminine essence into my work environment, my work schedule, and my work day. And I would love you to share below what you've come up with. And remember, when you have the courage to go out there and shine, you give others permission to do the same. So let's all go out there and shine this week. Bye-bye for now.